Today, we dive into the story of Lu, the many skilled god of the Duhe Dedanan, and the origins of the Lunasa festival, which, by the way, is celebrated on August 1st. So sit back and let's journey through the life of this fascinating figure from Irish mythology. Lou's tale begins with a prophecy that set his life on a dramatic course. His grandfather, Balor, was a powerful leader of the Fomorians. He was known to have an evil eye, or a poisoned eye, which could debilitate any of his enemies once his gaze was turned upon them. Balor learned that he would be killed by his own grandson, so in a desperate attempt to thwart this fate, Balor imprisoned his daughter, Etnia, in a tower to prevent her from ever having children. Reasonable. Fate, however, has a way of making things happen. Cian, a member of the Tuha Dedanan, managed to sneak into the tower with the help of a druidess named Birog. There, he met Etnia, and Lu, along with two others, was conceived. When Lu and his triplet brothers were born, Balor, determined to escape his grim fate, threw the infants into the sea. However, Lu's destiny could not so easily be denied. He was rescued by the druidess Barog and raised in secret by Taltu, queen of the Firbolg, the legendary adversaries of the Tuatha Dé Danann. Lu was entrusted to Taltu as a sign of good faith after both peoples had come to blows years before. Taltu was an incredible figure in her own right. She is said to have cleared the plains of Ireland for agriculture, working so tirelessly that she ultimately died from exhaustion. But before her passing, she took Lou under her wing, teaching him the skills and knowledge that would prepare him for his future. As Lou grew older, he developed an impressive array of talents. When he reached adulthood, he sought to join the court of King Nuada, of the Tuatha Dé Danann at Tara in County Meath. However, like any good bouncer, the doorkeeper was strict. No one could enter unless they possessed a unique skill that would benefit the king. So, Lou offered his skills one by one. I'm a master right. I'm a smith, a swordsman. I'm a harpist, a poet, a sorcerer. I'm a craftsman. Each time, the doorkeeper just replied that they already had someone with that skill. But Lou, ever confident, finally asked, Okay, but do you have anyone who can do all of those things? The doorkeeper had to admit that no, they didn't, and he let Lou in. Thus, Lou joined the court, quickly proving his worth and eventually leading the two to Danon in many adventures and heroic battles. One of his most significant and prophesied moments came during the Second Battle of Moitura. The Tuatha Dé Danann were up against the Fomorians, led by none other than Balor. Balor was the fearsome giant with a single deadly eye that could kill anyone it looked upon. The battle was fierce and it seemed the Fomorians might prevail, but Lu, wielding his legendary sphere, the one that gave him his name, Lu of the Long Hand, or Lavada, approached Balor. With an incredible amount of agility and precision, as was his reputation, Lou managed to strike Balor's eye, driving the spear through it and out the back of his head. Balor's deadly gaze turned on his own troops, immediately decimating them. This act not only fulfilled the prophecy, but also secured victory for the Duha Dé Danann and established Lou as a hero and a leader. In modern times, one of Lou's lasting legacies is the Lunasa Festival, held in August of every year. The modern Irish word for August is Lunasa. He established the festival in honour of his foster mother, Talchu. The harvest holiday was a grand affair where laws were declared, hand fastings were held, 
and people celebrated it with sporting contests and storytelling for two weeks. These games actually predate the Greek Olympics by over a thousand years, but ended under Norman conquest in 1100 AD. They saw a brief revival in the early 1900s, and all that we know of this event survives today in the festival known as Linsa. So how can you celebrate Lunasa today? Well, you can bake some bread. It's a harvest tradition after all. You can get outside into nature, however that may look for you, a hike, a picnic. You can gather with some friends, share some stories, play a little bit of music. Or you can really embody Lou and explore your crafty talents and make something just like he would. And there you have it. However you're celebrating, I hope it's fun, sunny, and you don't have to kill your grandfather. Hmm. Thanks for listening, and fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah.